Folks, it is that time for the BFDI and TPOT reaction. As I'm already like in New York, and this is my nickel here. Hello, buddy. And, and this time, it's time for the BFDI TPOT reaction. Let's get it on the board and get it off to the start. Let's go. Hey, two. When you pick a cake, decorate a ticket to the players who are safe. That's how you know it's cake and steak. I also wanted to point that and mention that one right over here. This is the poster right over here that you're looking right towards the wall. Um, reflecting from the TV screen. Uh, that is the one that I definitely did understand that that was really cool, like it's a movie theater. And it's design that used to be the one and the only that did this creation. That was Catherine's son, but done with this. And the voice actor of Nelly. So that was the one I was definitely not even noticing. Really cool uh, poster to have on here. Nice to keep this one in my game room. This is fantastic. And in, in Anime Sandy, Invitational poster is in my room getting replaced already. It looks pretty cool now. Um, maybe the next voice actor might be me. I mean, I can do that, but I need to make a request out of it for the for Michael and Carrie to, uh, if I would allow that. Because for a voice actor, uh, interesting to use that. But the character is the very tough thing to use. So I'll have to find out what it is. So yay. <laughs> Definitely just not. Okay, reaction time. Sitting across from me is Nickel. I have this kind of a plushie, so he's gonna try to watch this one very carefully at that point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh, give it a go. Alright, as you can tell that this is the next part of the episode of the BFDI TPOT. Um, it was one of the biggest moments here since I already went to the BFDI and... The Anime Sanity Experience Show here at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. I had a fun time there um, with Son of Beast and, of course, myself, along with my Mother of the Beast and Papa Beast. Um, in case I did not show it to you, I will show it to you at the end of the video for the BFDI and TPOT. Um, without further ado, I'd like to make a quick word about this one because I've already watched it before here part of the theater and that was like a biggest moment I've ever seen who wants to keep I've got a lot of questions to say what is going to be the next one to be out I felt like there's a lot of people like reacting I mean oh my goodness this is like the biggest moment and the greatest fears I mean you you can't really just say that this is like wow I mean like action pack or any part of it I mean you can't never let us slow down and before the power of the two comes up with the two team elimination so the two teams that are down for elimination is the strongest team on earth and Nickel are you okay mm. are you okay no I'm not okay. I'm worried. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, stay cool if you might. If you would, I would never have to. I won't. Okay. Well, uh, just stay calm if you can. I will try. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um,. I was talking to Nickel uh, to see if he's okay, but he feels like he's not. I thought like he's like nervous of what's going to happen. Anyway, as I mentioned it before, it was the strongest team on Earth that happened with the last part of the episode in episode number three. That was the last one I remembered it before that Foldy was out because the Foldy give Eraser a nightmare. And that kind of freaks me out because that really seems like to stare at me. And like a polygon, I don't think I would be able to keep it with the polygon. I don't think that's not going to help me do this. But in that case, this really has to happen to me. What is my question consideration for myself? I mean, if there is another way to make me feel like that I would stay away from like Foldy looking at me staring right at me, I... 
don't know what would happen with my brain. I mean, don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Forgive me. And the other side of a team that are up for first time with this episode, are you okay? Uh, yeah, it's definitely like not saying like, are you okay? You need someone to help you? It's not that. That's like the uh, advisory that I should help with one of the people and patient. And that's the way that they wanted to help the people uh, live life with. Are you okay is what the team looks like. I mean, that it all comes down because the, the golf ball's frustration. I mean, like getting feared a bit. He's like scared, but tennis ball did help him out. I mean, you can definitely call that. What are those dynamic duos? You can say that again, just like those two balls of golf ball and tennis ball. Are these two like a dynamic duos of these guys that looks like those two um, from the lower one from basketball? That looks kind of weird. Okay, let's just back it up right now and let's keep it going. So back at it right now. As I uh, look at basketball here on my right hand of the screen in the bottom corner, uh, it looks like that may have been a tough call with me and basketball in between the two of it. Since you can't just realize what is the big thing. I mean the comparison? Let's see. Me and her. Mmm. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't expect that was a close call. While my color is gold, and her color is orange. I mean, that's definitely true. But what is the biggest difference between the original and Unleashed Ball? I can't just really think of it. Well, I'm going to name myself Unleashed Beast. Yeah, because that's what I'm thinking of. Am I going to be the next uh, voice actor? Hmm... What is my prediction for the future? I mean, forget about that one here. Let me just enjoy it right now and start reacting to this one. So, we remembered it before. Episode 3, it was Foldy that was eliminated. But now, the next one could be down towards Victim. Between five contestants of the strongest team on Earth. And the start of Are You OK? on the other side. So, without further ado, let's give it a go. Here we go. Welcome to Cake and Steak, folks! Are You OK was closer to winning, so the strongest team on Earth is up for elimination first. Just hurry up! I really want to steal some food from 4index! That's my solution! Oh, your solution was going to take a food to steal from 4 and X? And what was the biggest secret that he was going to try and like say, Oh, there is one way that we can try to take over it from everyone else! Then four would have to like get rid of us for the cake for it instead. Now we would have the right moment to do this for us. With X, it's not possible. Well, if it does, how can you remember that when you're Snowball? There might be a tough honoration. What is the meaning of this? I mean, I'm not really uh, kind of convenient, but uh, you know what? Whatever. Let's keep going. Safe. I'll give you a slice of cake. This time, the cake is a folder of an attack plan to sneak past... Fo and, yeah, file folder. I mean, I got it from Cabby. Whoops. Sorry, Cabby. I, uh, I accidentally took your files, but I forgot to ask your permission. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Nah, I'm kidding. Let me go back to this, and let's find out what it is. I know I remembered it watching the last time at the theater. Um, I think it's going to happen now. So... Here it goes. File folder from YTP machine. One, two, three, go. Cressy and Snowball, you are both safe with 8,237 and 3,465 votes respectively. Right, Snowball. Wait, 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 wait. I want to read it. Folder of an attack plan to sneak past 4 and X. Oh. Right, Snowball into 4 as a weapon. Oh my gosh, it's four. I thinking that Stone Yoshi might miss it because his second channel got deactivated. I don't think he's not going to care about that, but I do. There he is. I, I just spotted that. It's four. There's 
course he is. Oh, well, uh, I'll get to the next scene. Go, keep going. Of Flower and Bell, you got 2,951 and 2,559 votes respectively. Launch Robot Flower towards X. Oh, I don't think I would take it, uh, Robot Flower. I mean, it looks like that Bell might take one. I mean, Bell's doing really good. I mean, what's the next thing gonna be? Gonna be a tough one to call that. And you could definitely spot it on for that. 2,951 and 2,559 votes respectively. Wow, it looks like a spinning turbine. It's like a spinning wheel, that's like it's a pinwheel. Or if it's a windmill that looks like Bell, like doing a little rotation out there. I mean, try to like activate it. I mean, the, with the power turbine, that is like really like wicked. That is X! X is right down there! Oh my gosh, X. Um, hope you're not going to try to, like, hurt us for two. Basketball! Eggy! Looks like a ball is finally being eliminated! Ball is finally being eliminated? I mean, what does that usually mean? Okay, I give up. And Eggy with a two, I mean, I don't know, i thinking the the like-to-like -like person's gonna be a close call, so... I guess we're still going to be on the same team to be safe. Hmm, I wonder what it will be. Like I already just said, I'm thinking keep myself as a good spirit because Unleashed Beast can't be stopped. I'm going to see what it is now. A ball. Oh, but I guess a ball isn't being eliminated because basketball is safe with 2,531 votes. Nailed it! Because, you know, that's why that ball really wants to be, like, a safe one. Basketball sinking? Why not go for the second one? Let's go for the second round. Bounce four. And it... <laughs> it's like a bouncy ball on the top of someone's head. Like, it's soccer ball. Like, you hit it from the head. <laughs> I mean, I want to see that again. <laughs> wow, that... Then you like try to smack someone head. Even I could punch Nickel very hard with the, with the head of it, and I don't know how hard that is. I can't even believe it. I thought that four was like stone. Okay, I got a little question what to say about it. How stone is four? And how stone, oh, uh, how hard or soft is it for X? I mean, is that gonna be a Q for an answer? I don't think there isn't. Maybe Nickel knows. Hey! Don't touch me, please. I don't want to hear this one again. I don't. Please. Don't ask me. Anyway. I don't want to hear it from you. And, and this is why it'd be a second time like this. And for us. Why is that a thing? Because of you. Me? Maybe you thinking uh, I am hard? Uh, yeah, I... I'm packed. I'm so dumb. Oh no. Not good. No contestant found on this page. And that means Eggy is eliminated with the vote of... Eggy's out with 2,404 votes. And that is what everyone does for here. So that is the last person that's been eliminated. Stayed for just a couple episodes before she was eliminated. Um, it was the sudden death because that was all that happened. So, yeah, Aki is no uh, option to my to myself. I am not sure why would I have to go with that. Maybe a uh, crack an egg on the pan, like the one from the short one of the BFDI TPOT one of the TikTok, right on my screen. Could be that. Apparently, if you drop an egg into a pan, it cracks perfectly. But I'm not really uh, paying for it.
I will finally give the answer to if I came first or the chicken. So basically, oh, you used your one sentence up. Bye, Eggie. Whoa, you're sending him off, Eggie, so fast in the air. I mean, I can't show you that. Maybe I was going to say that. That's a force power. Wow, that was one. And now it's time to move over to Are You OK section. Are you okay? It's your turn. Penny and GB, you're safe with 6,866 My gosh! 1,462 votes. Yes! Use Penny as a sword! I mean, like a sword fight. Yeah, yeah, ha, yeah! TV, Damn. you're full and eraser. You three are safe with 5,233, 5,140, and 4,796 votes respectively. Way to go, TV, puffball and eraser. That's creative. I ran out of ideas. No! Please don't ever do that again here, advertisement. And just go nuts. Uh, I'm out of ideas. Take number two. Whoa! That is really like, like the worst thing that happened. Two time fries and tennis ball. Who will leave? No fries. You're my only friends on this team. Tennis ball, you must survive. I require a support of a loyal team. I'm going to have to say about this one here. I know the royalty member does it for us their golf ball, but as long as you have been concerning about tennis ball, what to do with the next one, I mean, we could try doing anyway. But golf ball would have uh, promised to like, help the team out here, just like in the first season. Uh, everyone's been talking. Golf ball was saying, hey, hey, are you even listening to me? And that is the one thing that I definitely noticed that has happened. I mean, we're not talking to you anyway, the golf ball. We're, we're nobody wants you on that team. I mean, you can't just really, like, get over it on anybody. Well, in that case, I mean, I tried talking as Snowball, but my sound sounds awful. <laughs> um, now... What should I do with tennis ball? I'm going to keep him. But for fries, I'm going to eat it. Because at that point, I definitely wanted to have here for lunch and snack. I'm so bored. Maybe I want to eat something right away on my side of my plate. When I eat something, I mean, I want fries. Please let me, please let me have fries fried in for this episode and out. Only one alliance stays safe today, and for both cake and steaks, the ball remains safe. Tennis ball, with 4,788 votes, you are safe. Fries is out with 4,750 votes. It's not even close when you got the call for 47,088 votes and 47,050 votes. It's not really close when you have to go with that one anyway, so I know it was going to be that. So yeah... Tennis ball and, of course, basketball are the last two to be safe. And the other twos are eliminated. So I guess that is a way to go finish line. So, yeah, I have no comments on that one here. Yeah, pretty good job here, basketball and tennis ball. And this one won she as a female contestant of basketball and one male contestant of tennis ball. You can get that one out there by the creators of, of, of course, Carrie and Michael. With that one, a bold creation. I mean, shout out to you for one of the biggest part of it of concerns. I mean, I really appreciate you guys. And of course, my, my specialty was the biggest one I really enjoyed, Bami. And that was the part of it right here. Mm-hmm. You guys gotta know this name? Probably. If you can't, look it up. Puffball, activate the elimination prevention plan! Nope, sorry. Try to scare X. I mean, you can't scare her like that. Four can scare you like that. <coughs> but not this voice to scream loud. Some barf. No! For the next briefly, try and grab a snack for the two of us. Beep, beep. 
That's my watch and not my mouth! Foranex, it's playtime! You get five minutes! <laughs> oh. oh! No food allows to any of you! Will that be a lesson to you? And oh my you gosh! And two! No! <laughs> da 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 Is not the coffee clay All the way to victory the vine to rise and shine. This is the end of the action of the ABT. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, that is it. Actually, I, uh, definitely understand it. Yeah, I was thinking it over anyway, so I did have a lot of fun watching this one plot, and I hope you guys too. Um, if you're staying around here for the In Anime Insanity Invitational Reaction, stay tuned for that one. That will be the next one on its way. Well, with that case, peace out, folks, for a while, as the BFDI, the TPOT, 6 reaction dial. Um, and the beast is gone. See ya! Bye-bye! All right, guys. Welcome back to another one. I am ready to react. I watched it before, but I didn't get the beginning one. But I finally know it was very tough and insane. So it's time for an anime insanity imitational reaction for episode fourteen. And with my money, that prize a nickel, it's time to get it going. Let's do it. Off we go. <laughs> Off we go, let's do it. Okay, sorry guys. I definitely got finished off the dot one here because something really was exciting right now. So I now know that this is the part of it that they finished a part of a contest of this part for the spring into breakfast. That was the part of a contest that I have never seen it. What was going on up there? And that key moment I just really found it out that most of the fans were gasped out at each character said we're coming back in just one season ago and this season that happened already with the elimination they've already just noticed about each other like from their partners that they have already have done it before so the first one I got my eye on was Candle even though she was out and eliminated in the last episode as I already reacted to it was the part of a dreamlike and meditation. If that was part of decaching, I definitely know I definitely got to meditate and relax my part of a yoke of possession, but that's the good thing to have it on my own. Yeah, definitely you got a great picture of that one here. I really enjoyed it. On the other side of it, it's Suitcase. The second one I was not really noticing what it was going to be like. It was one word that really never caught me on in season two. I never reacted to this. I already told you guys, I from the first episode as I started for the reaction, I don't react to every season of the anime insanity. This one's really important because that was really that tough. I mean, now I can't even remember about the suitcase one. And yeah, the final four was cut short by the Sandy. But in that case, and the final one was Test Tube, in episode 10 elimination, I don't have anything else. The creative was putting up the biggest moment. I now know that it was going to be Test Tube, but unfortunately, no real talk. Well, you'll have to find out. I don't know what will happen here because I get it. Maybe there might be one way to get this over. And with that... This is what the episode is going to be look like. Spring into elimination. Well, there are contestants that left already, and man, man, I mean, not a good option. Because these two were gone. Yin Yang and Balloon. And that's the case, but you've already seen it before if you're on episode 11, at the start of an episode, and the end of it. 
Well, now you can definitely say that one again for yourself. So before we get into elimination, let's me have a quick look at this. Here it goes now. I'm back from my fucking... Oh, oh, what did I miss? The spoon is evil! Spoon is evil? I mean, yes, really, come on now. Everyone understands that Spoon is so evil. I mean, you can't just let it get away with it. Now, if you can definitely try to meditate us, I will still not try to concentrate yours. And you won't be my charming at all. Now you're talking. You don't deserve what you said. Okay, uh, please, 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 please. Uh, don't get me too close anyway. Don't try to do this to me. I warn not to you. Don't do this. Please. As I looked on here on the wiki, this one's the one that I definitely remembered it because we know Suitcase and he also plays the floor and window. And that guy name is Samuel Formbury. And yes, that was the guy that we have seen here before on the stage here. That was the last one that we did remember it. And yeah, that was the part of the year on the Experience show that we definitely did see him on stage. I mean, I got great questions out of it, and he made a great comment with that one here. I appreciate you here, Samuel. Also, a shout out to you. And yeah, um, that is the one that you looked at the meeting over there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Very awesome. But I wonder what's going on with them. Maybe there might be a consuming option. What is the choice? I gotta go with the figure. I want him gone! Either we vote him out, or I'm using him for my soup! Hot soup! I was thinking that we should vote for... You know, I know what it's like to not be heard. I think he's a good pick. And do we drink the immunity milk? Oh no! Hey, we'll follow your lead. Well, there it is now. I definitely am ready to see what is going to happen with that one, and this is why that gives me crazy. I mean, I don't know why Nickel is crazy. I mean, come on, man. Why, why do you have to always be so mean like that? I don't have no other concessions to make a story out of it. So, yeah. Yep, it's fight time for the end. As you can see right over here on the left hand of my corner, that was the one that you already have seen Nickel here. It was the first one part of a BFDI TPOT reaction of this one. It was not consuming, like it was going to be an option for it. Like he would care about it to stay in the game. It was all that happens. He wants to try to like, try to like put a concern on most believing players that he wants to trust. Not even if he makes a mistake on anything, banning from the picnic tables. But some of them can't help. It's the most ridiculous moment I don't really like because all that happens from episode 6, he always gets a pie out of it. And look at himself in the face. Look at him. You can't really just say that, oh wow, you are so, so, uh... Silly like a clown, and all they could say that the children's always laugh. I mean, they always crack their heads up and then go like, Ha 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 ha, you're so funny there, Nickel. I mean, get even erased by anybody. You can't just really be serious like that. Oh, he's so, so funny. <laughs> I can't just really do that much. I would always screw up my voice. I mean, sorry, I can't do. In fact, I definitely did know the appearance for once. I gotta start remembering of what my communication has to go with my consequences in between the range of me and Flower. While Mr. Beast has it with Clover, of course, but consuming to have the poor enrichment. Hmm, I definitely may have to go with that. You know what? If I want to serve here for Mr. Beast, I want to do something that is better than that. But I gotta, like, try to, like, keep on going. Well, for the elimination on the other side of it, I also have it with me. So, here are my other guys that will be up for part of it 
to watch the elimination. And here they are. Meet the one and only Mr. Paintbrush. And that is me. I mean, this is amazing to have us here. I mean, I, thanks for bringing me here to watch my reaction of it. I've always missed everybody. But I always like to be watching here on TV here too. A 90s one, if you're a part of a, uh, like a spring tastic uh, childhood breakfast favorite. I mean, I, I couldn't eat that much. I mean, if someone does, maybe they can go with that. And you guys too. I mean, good shout outs for you guys. And the other side, life ring! Hey, you never seen what everybody does like that. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in. Anytime. And now for the moment where the uh, reaction elimination comes down to this. This is what everyone does. And for the end of the 2022-23 year of the season, because of this point, they are off and back to return for next year for the part of the 23-24 to 24 year of the season with new episodes. You'll stick around here after the summer break is finished. Beginning on October 2023 of the fall. And with that one, we can definitely try to kick back into it and then go with more. Especially the skits here too, which will be the next one to come out. And my new movie is coming out. Um, my project I have always made, um, since the pandemic I've already made. I mean, I had no other concerns about it anyway. So uh, what's the fact with that? But hopefully in that case, it's going to happen now. So, looks like it is. Are you ready, guys? You know I am. You know what? We're always counting on you. We are always doing it. Yeah! And we are set! Fire it up! Elimination time! We've made it through a real long, moneyless, childhood, idol-killing day, so let's cut to the chase. Yin Yang, if you would like to play your milk, now would be the time to do so. If you tell me what to do again, I'll rip out your dumb innards! Yang, what has gotten into you? We will not, sir. So any vote for Yin Yang will count. This is gonna happen again because this is never gonna happen with anybody else like that. And you always know for last episode, this was the start for it, and the milk does it all. Yeah, you can't even explain what everyone does here for now. The rejoin of Cabby from the elimination that happened in episode 7. I mean, that was like the biggest moment I've always seen what happens, especially with my gear. Yeah, I mean, that was the biggest fear. I mean, that is the biggest concerns about that. I prove that she will be able to stay safe. I prove that the next one could be the tough decision to make this one in there. And so as that, it might be the tough one and everyone knows. And especially you, son of beast. Oh. Huh. Uh, you can always say that one here again, if you mind. So, yeah, it's gonna happen now, so maybe there might be a one way. But I want to keep his money. I want it to go that way. So, let's face it. Okay, you have the option. But you have Yin Yang, of course. You've always shown in that one anyway. Yeah, don't try to meditate yourself, young man. You don't want to have your uh, hard time with your feelings. Also, you lost candle with that one, which won't be the urge discussion to make. And that's what happens. Remember the last episode that Mr. Beast always has to talk to Nickel about it? Because this is what everyone does. Don't try to get rid of it. Yeah, I understand that one here. It's the moment I really do for that. Thank you, Mr. Beast, for reacting for the last episode of the elimination. I always appreciate you that. Now I understand why it does happen. Because it does really happen. Hmm. It might be a good place for everyone who likes to have a good breakfast cereal that I always do for the everyday morning routine. I always do that. But my new skit will be the next one to be reaching out with the newer height of this one. So keep your eyes tuned. I will give you a little discussion here for later. But right now, let's go with elimination. Carry on then. We want it now. It's on. Oh, yes. Here it goes. First vote. 
Silverstone. Yin Yang. Yin Yang. We are tied. Two votes Silverspoon. Two votes Yin Yang. Yin Yang. That's two votes Silverspoon. Three votes Yin Yang. One vote left. Oh no! I can't let this power go with that strength. You gotta commit this. If there isn't another way, then you'll lose everything. Remember what they say, you can't win it all, and you're never gonna win the fight. Even I'm out in episode 12, and I am out in episode three. That was all it did. So what are you gonna do now, man? Are you gonna go for it, or lose it? That always makes me want to think I want to do. You know what? I am not gonna lose Yang Yang for sure. Come on, man. I've always trusted him. He really does it for me. And it needs to be saved again, once this happens. I have a confession to make with this. It's all what I don't. And these guys over here that me and Flower were trying to connect to each other. We're trying to make us feel like we're thinking together. But it may not be. I guess I'm going to go with that. I'm going for Yin Yang to keep him safe. I'm going for it. Yin Yang, I'm coming for you. Be aware. And the final vote is... Silverspoon, we are tied. <gasps> per the rules, we can have a revote. Silverspoon and Yin Yang, you cannot vote. Everyone else can only vote for either of those two. I counted it. I just did. It's my only part of a destiny I always did. I can't let this happen like that. When this is like the same thing like you did, it was always you, Yin Yang. But you, Life Ring, this happened to you with the tie in this game. The same thing happened. You were the only one that was tied up. That was it. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to, like, try to, like, uh, keep it on going again. I mean, you don't have to do this anyway. I mean, don't be, uh, don't be upset like anybody. You know, we try to trust you. I mean, I'm your lifesaver. You can always bet on me. But I never want to really want to improve everybody. You've always got to commit it. You've got to show the spirit of it. And also, think happy. You've got to commit to it. It's a hard way to learn it. That's what everybody does. They knew it. Now, they won't count Silver Spoon. So, Silver Spoon, you're safe. You're back in the game. Oh, fine. Good enough for me, anyway. And then I also definitely would like to keep an eyes on the target right now. Especially to you, there, son of beast. And you, paintbrush, you should never do what I say. Understood? Well, if it's only the way that you have to keep on coming down, you've got to commit it. Respect to it. It's all yours. Do the best as you can. Thank you. And to Royal Highness of the crew, thank you very much. And always the better plan. Looks like the three are down for up for the dead to be eliminated. I can't. I can't. Nothing's gonna happen. I don't think this is ever gonna happen. The last time I chose it was Nickel. Oh no. What was the biggest concerns about it? Because episode 6 was really the, the worst thing that's ever going to happen. I can't make a commitment to this. Guys. Guys, help me. I gotta do something else like that. I have to do this. I gotta think back again. Why? Well, the, I'm on the third chance. I'm at the bottom of my line. You better not take it away. Give it back, me phone, or else I'm going to crush you with this giant spike bomb. Oh boy, this is not good. I'm I'm at the rope. I'm at the I'm at the end of my line. Here I come. I 
I have nothing to do but to lose this. My job needs to do something else like that. I have to do this. Nickel, I'm coming for you. Uh, sir, son of beast, don't try to hesitate yourself. I can't help you. You're gonna have to give it up on me. What? No! I can't! Yes, you can. You could just keep Ying Yang, but you won't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. Nobody will never know. It's gonna be very hard on this on myself. How come I can't do this? Just do it for yourself. I will talk to Mifo. I'll make the judge out of it. If I'm, I'm safe, you'll be fine. If I'm gone, you'll have to give it up on your own. And go with Ying Yang on your own. With you, Flower, Clover, and Mr. Beast. These are the only options I never know. You guys know my name. My family. Your family? Why? Is that a thing? It is. I want to save it. I've got to do it. I will have to. Just give it a try. If you would, you're accepted. If you don't, you're on your own. I'm going for it. I'm absolutely going to go for it. Oh boy, here we go again. He is going to definitely do this. Well, he might be saying it because I know from the, from the Team Sinkers, he's definitely with us. Uh, yeah, and always know that Nicholas is only the one left, but Balloon, it, it's not going to be very that challenging for us to do this. But how is it going to be happening like that? Well, you'll see. It might be a tough decision. We can't lose it all. Nobody can, and no one does it for all. You have your own. Not necessary. We loony balloonies will not be changing our votes. Hey, you're not. I'm the balloony. My audience will not be changing our votes either. I'd reconsider if I were you, Cabby, Nickel, Balloon, and Bot. If you cannot reach a unanimous decision, Yin Yang and Silver Spoon will become immune, joining Cabby, who won today's challenge. And Balloon, Nickel, Bot, one of you will be eliminated at random. Are you willing to put yourselves at risk? Can you please not send one of us home when we can easily avoid it? We're supposed to be the final three! Let's talk about this! Oh no. I don't have any decisions to make in this one because this is definitely what the, the dynamic duos and the trios. I think this might be the only last two that might be happening like this. It's going to be definitely Balloon and Nickel. Because it, there is no other option. I don't have anything else to say with this. I am definitely going to be doing this anyway. So I'm sorry if I put it at risk. But it's never going to happen to be the same thing. I don't know what will happen with Bo. If it's going to be Bo and Nickel, what could that figuration be? I can't really just make that one too hard of a decision to make in their own lives. If there is another way to do this one, I don't want to make this one too bad. And the toughest mother of... T Kettle will not be trying to like reconnect to this progress. All she knows is try to like behave. That's all they do. And you gotta believe yourselves. Two of you. Here it goes. I can't help it. I'm scared. But I wouldn't trust a thing I hear. And if that's the last time I need to hear someone put me down, it's worth the risk and more. It ends now. Then tiebreaker it is. <coughs> I've always been quite fond of these lights. Can't go to bed without them. <laughs> mm. Night light, baby. <laughs> I can have nice things. Balloon, nickel, to the top. Pick one, hold it tight. I can't really do this right now. These light bubbles are not going to be my only thing if I go make them sleep. And if I put him into sleep, this might help me relax my brain. Yeah, cheer yourself up, man. I mean, you gotta always gotta know that. Yeah, do it on your own. Just try to reconnect. Go with the figure. You guys got it now. Except to go out with one of them. If it goes out, so do you. And I always think about that one here. If it does go out, 
I mean, I always will lose the challenge. And I will be sorry, Mr. Beast, if I always can't make the job done. I really want this to happen. And you all viewers, you have to help me too. I don't want you to lose me. Please. And not with Chris Sonic Guy. I don't want to do this anymore. Please don't try to, like, get away from me. At all. Please. Use wisely. Oh boy. Well, good luck. Ready? And Here it goes. Reveal. Uh... And with that, Bot, you're our 14th eliminated contestant. Bot? I. I. I can't go back. I'm not ready. I'm not right. I'm not. You are. But any chance you'd want a co-host? Co-host? Mascot? I think I'm done with other people's labels. Oh, so it's still alive. It's still back. And the moment of this one, the bow revealing bot is gone. I know this was a tough decision. I know that it was going to be for us. All we know is all we've always screaming, and I can definitely feel like Bobot is out of the game. I was feeling like very like depressed. I mean, I was like shocked already. I mean, this was like the biggest part of it I never heard. Especially when I was always in the theater, they always hear that explosion in the loudness in the city. I never seen how this one goes, but this is why you don't have to like go with your own. You just got to like show it to each other. You just have to like keep it going with you. And if something happens, something uh doesn't seem right to you, you have a problem, I mean, fix it yourself. You got to always have it just like Bobot does. Stay in one place you can. And finally, Nickel is the last one to be ha having the fourth chance just now on episode 14. I'm going to have to go with Nickel and Yin Yang to go with the two. I'm going to keep these two. And finish it off from here. I'm sorry, Bobot. I couldn't just keep it going with your votes. Because of that, I wasn't in until episode 5 was released. So I didn't get a chance to choose you. But it all knows it was the masterpiece of it to have this bow pink to white as a butterfly bow. I always understand it because that always gives us luck with our team. And you can't always agree with it. Well, I guess that it is. It time to settles. It's go time. Time to fly away. We will remember you, bot. Always. Thanks for the memories. And there you have it. That's what happens when two alliances get so caught up in their own drama that they force out the greatest player. Uh. How will the best of what's left rebuild what's been broken? And what we do think, what will this always happen with? Is there another situation we always can do? I mean, it's tough to make my alliance to have one. But what will the connection be for Yin Yang and Nickel? What will the figuration be? There's only one choice to find out and get back into this one for the new part of the season in 2023-24. to 24. And that be the moment... You've been waited. Hey, it's always a nervous between us and to each other, infinity and beyond. And as we're always being said, find out now, next time, time on Inanimate Sanity Invitational. Is this the end? Of course it's not. Oh my gosh, we are going back to the indefinite island 
since we remembered it before, um, with the rejoin that I definitely did react to on episode 10. That was the last one I remembered it. I don't believe it. This is like the only part of it in the mysterious place. I can't really just understand it because I know this is why I definitely did happen right now. It's one of the best. Oh my gosh. We're back in again. What's up with this now? Let's find out. Hey, Goo. It's she's back. Oh. You okay. made it. Oh no, you made it. But yay, you made it. Look at you. It's, so it's a cheer factory. What? <sighs> Is that what I'm looking at? That can't be. I don't really know how to say this, but this is what the dream looks like. Oh my gosh. How can I always remember this? This is like the only thing I never don't even explain that. It's what I always don't. Wow. It's that appreciation. I don't even remember this from episode 10. From the indefinite island. It was only that. Oh my gosh. The fans already here definitely realized they just knew Test Tube was... Wow, I mean, they were fake, but now it is revealed. I don't believe it. That's why you can't just really get rid of her. I mean, not for once. Wow. What a comeback tout about me with Cheer Factory without the science gal. You can't really get rid of it. What a epic. Hey. Oh. Ew. Oh, this is like the happiest ending and I can't just really think. Oh, and there's the bat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could definitely always say that. I mean, yeah. That's definitely true. They definitely can't never forget each other. Wow. What a happy feeling about episode 14. And that's why you know that's the reaction that you always can't go with the flow. This is the happiest day of my life. And I always know that you guys have always been watching this before here, since you guys already know that. Um, the best thing that happened to me, it was the biggest story that I always ever mention it. With the comeback win in between the range of Joel and Bede, I know that. But this episode really does tell. That it was the moment I just remembered it. So this is why this important episode was really coming together. And that is why you gotta believe them. Every spirit you know. Not with a little crazy nickel out that point. But you're not gonna get that fact. Don't try it. But this is why you always remember it, because if you have dead friends, you haven't seen them for a long time, you've always got to know the truth. I hope that there is one. Well, I guess not. So I guess that settles it every day. And to you all, viewers, a combination of the BFDI TPOT and an anime insanity Invitational was the new part of the episodes we did get to see, and it was exciting, like we always heard of it before. I was thrilled. How about you? Well, you've played your figured it all. Thank you for watching.
Peace out, folks, for a while as the in Anime Insanity Invitational Reaction Dial. This is Son of Beast. You can find me on my social media. The links are in the description. But watch out. This new episode of the deals will be happening soon. Don't get spoiled by Nickel. Unless if you ruined enough with a lot of information. Hey, don't try to make a judgment out of it, okay? <laughs> Who could bet? And to you all. Peace out. And to everyone else. Life ring. And of course, paintbrush. You guys showed up great respect to each other. And we can't always forget about you. Ah, oh, thank you. And that's what everything the story does tell, the same thing. That's where we end the year. Stay tuned, and we'll be back for a new part of the year, 23 to 2024, of the new episodes of the season. Keep your eyes planned out of here. And if you want to stay updated, you got to subscribe to Son of Beast's channel. If you don't, somebody will. That's right. I'm out. Bye-bye. Have a great night. You too. Let's close it off anyway. Yeah, sure thing. Animation! Hey guys, Son of Beast here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the part of it, of the BFDI TPOT, and of course the In Anime Insanity Invitational part of the new episodes that you always get to experience, and whatever goes the way, you definitely gotta go with that, and you know what I mean. Here are some one of the favorite character actors and the pictures that have already been taken with your favorite character actors that played for the contestants and the creators. And here they are. Take a look. They're a ball from the sky. Here they are. <laughs>